Hello, today we're going to learn about Autodesk interface and how to use Autodesk Inventor to create a drawing from 2D into a 3D solid model. Right, let's begin. First of all, I need you to click on the icon New. A pop up window will appear. I need you to click on Metric to use metric measurements. Click on standard MMIPT file and then click on create. A new screen will appear where you can see different icons on the top surface here. What is this area is called ribbon. The ribbon is divided into two sections. One is called the ribbon tab. By clicking on it, you will see different functions to perform different tasks. The next panel here is called Ribbon Panel with different icons here. By clicking on each of these Ribbon Panel icons, you are able to perform certain function. Over here, we have the 3D function. Over at the left hand corner is where we call the Model Browser where you see the content of your, your drawing model. Right over at the right hand corner, we have the navigation bar where it allows you to navigate your 3D model in space. And here is also called a navigation view cube. Now let's start creating a simple 3D model using a sketch function. First of all, I need you to click on create 2D sketch. Click on create 2D. Okay, you'll notice a cross hair like item appear. By move, hovering your mouse over this crosshair like item, okay, it changes color. This item is actually the so-called the plane where you will do your drawing or you may interpret it as the paper surface where you're going to draw your 2D drawing. Now hover your mouse over to the left hand panel on the model browser. Click on the plus sign just next to origin. and move your mouse to YZ plane, you'll notice the YZ plane changes color. Move over to XZ plane, it also changes color. Move to y, XY plane, it changes color. In this time, we're going to use XY, XZ plane. Okay. Now, this panel here has changed over to a sketch panel, where it's very much the same as uh, drawing tools circle, line, up, rectangular. Right now I'm going to use line to draw a rectangular. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to bring over to maybe in the center of the screen. You notice the yellow dot become green. I click on it. I'm going to pull it out a bit and drag it. I place in the area that I like, I'm comfortable with. I click on it. I pull it up. Make sure it's 90 degrees. You can see the 90 degrees click on it, I pull it to my left, I click on it and then I close it back. When I'm done, I click on finish. Now it, you can see the 2D sketch that I've done and I'm going to add a thickness to this to make it in the 3D model. I click on extrude. Default the system will extrude up to thickness of 10mm. I can change this to 2mm. Okay, and it becomes thinner. You notice there's an arrow here. This is the direction where the material material or the system will pull the material up. If I were to click on this direction too, it pulls down. If I click on this, symmetric, it will be divided in two. In this time, I'm going to use direction one, it pulls up. And then I click OK. And there you go, you just created your first 3D model. Now, by moving over to the nav navigational bar, I click on this which is actually called a free orbit. I click on it. you notice a circular thing appear. I click and I, I move the mouse. By clicking on left hand mouse and clicking on the item, I'm able to rotate my 3D model. Now, it's time for you to try on your own.